Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have been talking about boundaries in relationship and since we are talking about improving ourselves in terms of our mental health in 2021, so today I'm going to talk about concretely what can you do to improve your mental health in 2021 in terms of setting concrete boundaries in relationship. So the first one that I want to talk about which you can apply and get results instantly is start the day with morning meditation. Yes, just a few minutes of breathing exercises you can start with, then develop it into a particular form which appeals to you. So I'm now going to talk about exactly what type of med- meditation suits you the best that is up to you to explore but that's a definite good start to center yourself and not be all over the place not poke your nose into other people's matters not intervene where it's unnecessary so that's a very good start also what we can do is uh, throughout the day from time to time take a pause and calm yourself down a lot of times we go hyper, we start hyperventilating, we start doing a lot of things against our basic grains because we are not mindful, we don't calm ourselves consciously. So we need to, from time to time, throughout the day, consciously calm ourselves down. Positive affirmations work wonders. Yes, we have been talking a lot about positive affirmations, but trust me, you need to now is the time you need to find your own positive affirmation statements and chant it like a mantra the next thing i know it sounds bizarre but start having more vegetables in your diet it definitely does something it does wonders it does wonders to your system it makes you less irritable it makes you less um, scattered it makes you a whole lot more centered and you are able to better balance when you need to be proactive and when you need to withdraw finding time to regroup and ground yourself a lot of times a lot of things happen when you start your day you meet a lot of people at work there there are a number of people whom you come in contact with their energies and yours gets intermingled and you start feeling you're all over the place so grouping regrouping yourself and centering yourself is a wonderful way uh, in reminding yourself that you need to understand where yours end and another's begin the next is complimenting others and congratulating them as frequently as possible yes there are a lot of times we have opportunities where we can congratulate another we can feel great about another we can we know that someone is praiseworthy but we since we are living mindlessly or since we are um, not aware of the boundaries we start uh, taking it for granted or we stop uh, appreciating another so that definitely is a way the next one is letting go of things you cannot control we've been talking endlessly about it i'm stressing it yet again yes it is a wonderful way of understanding where mine ends and the others begin it can be your partner it can be your child it can be your parent it can be your best friend it can be anyone but that person has a mind of his or her own like you so letting uh, understanding that that is not yours to control the next one is ending toxic relationships yes toxic relationship a relationship which has not been going anywhere a relationship which has only caused you headache and heartache think of how you can release it a lot of times you can't physically move away but you can definitely reduce the importance of this toxic person from your life the next one is a positive no excuse mindset yes that when we live in an excuse kind of a mindset when we constantly think in terms of um, I can't do this because of that person I can't do this because my situations like that so all these because's that we live with are all the excuses that stop us from living our lives to the full potential as a result 
we get enough time and space in mind to occupy it with things that do not concern us the last point is speak more positively this is something that we need to bring into our lives with conscious deliberation that from today onwards i will speak about everything in a more positive tone we unknowingly very often have a tendency to go negative about people about things about situations our opinion tends to uh, slide towards negativity so if possible we need to understand that we need to get more and more positive about ourselves and when we are positive about ourselves we will be positive about the whole world so these are a few ways in which we can learn to set boundaries in relationship for us to be better in 2021 thank you for watching this keep watching for more such videos